Well, I'm back. Well, what do you want? Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? It's the God Trick Master here again today for another video, and I'm back once again, guys, with another week of video. So for today's video, I'm going to be starting kind of from the very beginning. This is for beginner magicians. I'm going to be basically showing you guys the moves and what you should do to get started and that type of stuff, because I started 13 years ago. And I just kind of want to give you guys advice if you want to start doing magic. This is a new beginning for me, and this will be a new beginning for all the aspiring magicians out there. But, before we begin this video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe down below to the latest growing magic channel in the world. I know I say that, and Card Tricks 8 is still fucking above me. But you know what? Why does it matter? So, uh, yeah, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. So then that way, when it comes to the showdown of uh, me and Card Tricks 8 for subscribers, I can actually beat him at something that I should be better at. I'm not saying he's a bad magician because I love this dude, but uh, yeah, and it's just, it's so annoying how, you know, someone as, as young and, and as agile and as freaking amazing as he is can just pass someone like me. I'm freaking Card Master X, man, like, Card Master X. I, I I always keep mastering life. I I'm not Card Tricks Eight. Like like what? there's no master in that sentence at all. I don't fucking understand. I I don't I don't get it. I I don't get it. Oh man, I don't I don't get it. I really really don't. But uh, yeah. I guess we'll just keep going until. Either we give up, or until uh, until all of his subscribers come to me or something, because you know I have I have no clue. I have, why nothing nothing works, man. I why I I don't know why I wear this Pac Man hat and and this SpongeBob shirt and you know and I have these stupid things on my walls and. And, and this microphone. What are you doing here, Mike? Okay, I'm not as good as Card Tricks Eight, so why would I be as good? At... See, the... doesn't he... you're not even plugged in. You don't even work. You're not. What the? <sighs> Fuck it. I'm. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna leave. See y'all later. I right, enjoy. Enjoy this chair. I right, enjoy. Enjoy this content. I'm just gonna. This is brown ass banana too. Look at that shit. Are you kidding me? I can't do anything right. Ugh. Just, just, what are you doing here? What the hell are you doing here? I know it's Monday. Okay, I understand. It's Monday. It's the beginning of, you know, it's March 22nd. It's, it's what, it's what everyone's been waiting for. But what are you guys, oh my Jesus. <sighs> I just had an idea. <laughs> oh man, you're screwed now, Derek. <laughs> Roll the clip. I'm going to be showing you just a couple things that I learned when I first started doing magic that I feel like you need to kind of learn to start.
All right, first things first, I'm going to teach you guys the Wiffle Shuffle. Now, the Wiffle Shuffle is probably the most common way of shuffling playing cards by any magician in the entire fucking world. What I do is I hold the cards in my right hand and I hold my ring finger, my middle finger, and my pinky all up on this edge of the playing cards, hold my thumb at this bottom edge, and then I hold my right index finger on the back of the playing cards like this. I take my thumb and I riffle down to about half the playing cards, just like that, half the playing cards, and I use my left hand and I take the playing cards and flip them and hold them just like this, the same way in both hands. I have my index fingers on this edge, my pinkies on this edge, my ring and middle finger on these edge, and my thumb on the bottom edge. That's important because you're going to take your thumbs and you're going to move them up to the edge of the playing cards like this so you'll be able to like riffle them down like that. That's important because you need to be able to get that riffle thing. You're going to turn them sideways, not too close. I like to have my thumbs touching like this. I like to make sure that my thumbs are touching in this sort of way. But you're going to just let go one at a time and they should just fall into each other and intertwine and uh, kind of just make each other happy. Take your fingers, you're going to bend them all and keep your thumbs on top, pushing. And then when you're ready, you're just going to open your fingers and the cards sh should just fall. You kind of want to push down a little bit with your thumbs, but not too much. And perfect. That's the bridge. So I can only really do good pinky breaks with my left hand. Um, I'm not sure why. I could probably do them with my right hand too, but it just, it feels weird to me. See, it just, it doesn't feel comfortable. You're going to take your thumb and you're going to peel out the top card to your right. You're going to peel it out to your right and instead of grabbing it like you normally would, you're going to peel it out and you're just going to keep your pinky there and you're going to bring it back. Now the only part of the pinky that you're holding the pinky break with should be this little fatty part here. This little part that I can squeeze. You don't want your nail in there. You don't want your whole pinky in there. You kind of just want the beginning of it in there. So then the entire card's not lifted. It's only that corner. You see what I mean? So then from the front, it's kind of invisible. But from the side and from the back, people will see your pinky break if it's not good enough. But this time, you'll just swing cut over a pack of cards. You'll keep your pinky in there and you'll place this packet on top of those cards and you'll kind of just make sure that it looks good. I've shown you holding the top card and I've shown you holding the middle card with a pinky break. Now I want to show you holding a bottom card with the pinky break because there's ways to do that too. A good way to hold the bottom is to take the cards, hold them in your left hand, you have your index finger, you can buckle the card. That way the card bends out on the bottom like that. You want to stick your pinky in there and then kind of just let go and let everything relax. So now you have a pinky break underneath that card and it's a little bit harder to see the bottom card because when the cards are straight, the bottom card is, is down here in your palm. So they won't be able to see the pinky break that much. So if you would do something where you would cut the cards and you wanted the card to be on top like that, then uh, you know that's an easy way to do a pinky break and kind of just get away with controlling a card. Now the last thing I want to show you guys, it's going to be two parts. I want to show you guys the spring, which looks like this. And I want to show you guys the riffle, which looks like this. Now the spring and the riffle are polar opposites. Because the spring, you have to take the cards and you hold them in your dominant hand. That's what I do, my right hand, as you can see. And uh, I take them and I bend them, just like this. I have my thumb on the very bottom left corner of the cards. And then I have the rest of my three fingers kind of putting pressure on the top edge of the cards and I just have them fall into my left hand like this and I catch them. Now at the beginning they're going to be messy but once you get a little bit better with it you'll be able to control it and uh, be able to just let the cards fly. That's the spring. Okay the spring is what you're pushing down. Now the riffle you're going to be pushing up like this. You're going to be pushing the cards up and in. As you hold the cards in this sort of I think it's biddle grip um, is what they call this in a way, um, kind of a changed middle group where you have the three fingers, again, on the top edge, thumb on the bottom, and your index finger is kind of pushing on the back, giving it support. So you're going to take your index finger and you're going to push on the back of the cards. Now, you got to get your hands used to pushing this many cards because it's a little bit difficult if your hand muscles are not necessarily the best. You're going to push on the cards and you're basically just going to let the pressure of the index finger push the cards out and you're going to lift the cards above your left hand and you're just going to let them drop. That's the dribble. And uh, obviously this takes practice. And you kind of want to just gauge yourself where your hands are going to be and where you know your, your left hand has to be and where you're going to drop the cards. Oftentimes this is used 
to sometimes pick a card. You know, you have them say when to stop, and they stop right there. And uh, then you drop a card on the floor, and you end up stepping on it, and it ended up breaking and, and getting dirty, and then you have to get into a whole new deck of cards. But, you know what? That's just beginner's luck. So I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. That would be very much appreciated. Also, please don't forget to check out teespring.com slash store slash shop CMX. I just added some new merch there for my rap side of things. JBZ just kind of took over uh, my merch site and added, you know, a cool little hoodie um, that has his album logo on it. If you guys want to check it out, I'll post a picture of it right here. You guys will see it. It's going to be lit as hell. And I want you guys to go, you know, buy a sticker, take care of Wounded Warriors. We can do that too. But uh, that's it for today's video. And I will see you guys on Wednesday. Keep mastering life. Fucking Derek being better than me. Fucking. Why are you still here? I'm done, okay? I'm, 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 I'm done. Just, just leave. Leave. I don't want you to see. I have to edit. I have to edit this video. You guys have to leave. Brown ass banana. Where'd you come from? It's supposed to be yellow. Jesus fucking Christ. See ya.